Hi, this is Dorothy from TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodBlog and from FaveHealthyRecipes.com. I got a lot of figs today, so I'm making some fig jam. And fig jam is so easy to make and so fast. Figs are a good source of uh, potassium, so they're really good for your blood pressure. And they're really good for your intestines and your digestion. And they're really highly alkaline, so if you have figs in the house and you have overdone it on something acidic, which most foods are, uh, most non-raw foods, have a fig because it'll totally restore your pH balance. And these are fresh, and fresh figs, you know, they're actually not a fruit, they're, um, they're a flower that has folded into itself. Isn't that cool about figs? And so anyway, they, as soon as they, you pick them, they only have a week to harvest. That's why they get kind of expensive. So I'm actually going to make some jam, and then I'm going to dry some, so I'll have dried figs. But if you're using them fresh, rinse them, and then take off the stem. And I'm just going to make a little bit so I can dry the rest of these. So I'm putting three in my little bullet, silver bullet here, silver bullet. And then the juice of a half of a lemon. And what I did with these chia seeds is I soaked one tablespoon in a little bit of water. And you just need to do that for 10 minutes. So I'm going to put some chia seeds in there. And the chia seeds will thicken it up. And you can see my other videos on why chia seeds are so amazing for you. But they will make the jam really thick. And then you decide what kind of sweetening do you want. So if you're using honey, you would probably use about a tablespoon or raw sugar or coconut um, syrup or some fruit and I'm just I was going to add some cinnamon to this so instead I'm going to add some cinnamon stevia then I get the sweetening and the s stevia at the same time the sweetening and the cinnamon uh, th just about three or four drops then we blend that up in our personal blender you could do all of these fades in a big blender but I I didn't want that much jam because I didn't think I could eat it all. Now it's really good. You could also keep some water on hand or a little bit of apple juice if you thought it was going to be too thick. Wow. See how fast that is to make fig jam. I almost said plum jam. And then, um, you know, you can pour it in your container, or you could put some in a little bit of yogurt, or you could put some on a piece of banana, an apple, or an, make a really good fruit salad out of this. And today I'm putting it on these raw kimchi crackers. So well, there you go, fig jam, so fast and so easy. Endure, enjoy it from Dorothy at TaiChiBozeman.com slash raw food blog and from FaveHealthyRecipes.com.